Hello everyone and welcome to Nokon A channel. I am Ding Yi and this is 11 D News. As you know, English has attracted much social concern. More and more people try to improve their English, especially speaking skills. And that's why I am here today with our school to have an interview with some students from class 11 D. Now let's go. À, hiện tại thì bạn cảm thấy kỹ năng giao tiếp của bản thân như thế nào? Hiện tại thì kỹ năng giao tiếp của mình còn nói vấp với lại là phát âm chưa được chuẩn. Kỹ năng giao tiếp của mình thì vẫn còn hạn chế. Bạn chú trọng nhất là điều gì khi mà học tập giao tiếp tiếng Anh? À, theo mình thì mình chú trọng về từ vựng. Mình nghĩ là đó là về vốn từ vựng của riêng mỗi người. À, cách cải thiện việc giao tiếp tiếng Anh của bạn như thế nào nhỉ? Hằng ngày thì mình mở các video và đọc theo Hoặc là có những hôm mà từ vựng mình không biết thì mình sẽ tra trên mạng Thì mình mỗi khi mình gặp từ mới thì mình ghi lại Phiên âm rồi dịch nghĩa nó ra Và đồng thời còn xem nhiều phim điện ảnh nước ngoài để tiếp thu thêm vốn từ vựng Và theo bạn thì nó có những lợi ích gì cho bạn trong tương lai? À, khi mà giao tiếp anh tốt thì trong tương lai có khả năng xin việc làm rất là cao và có cơ hội được trải nghiệm đi các nước khác nữa thì mình nghĩ là nó sẽ có ích về mọi mặt cho tương lai của mỗi người. Many students are not very good at English. They often get bad marks at school. They can't speak English well and make themselves understood even in everyday conversations. More disappointing when students have a chance to speak with people from English-speaking countries. Very few of them are willing to practice. The rest one may only say some sentences like "Hello, what's your name? Good. Okay, goodbye. See you soon." And that's all. So, what is the reasons? Many students find English is difficult to learn because their English is still very poor. They have a limited vocabulary and their pronunciation is terrible. Therefore, they hardly understand what the teachers are saying during English lesson. They hardly say a word in English. The second cause is many students are lazy. After school, they rarely practice listening and speaking in English. What they only do in their free time is to stick to their smartphones and chat with their online friends about everything except study. And the last reason is also the most common reason. Many students are too shy to speak, especially to foreigners. They are afraid of speaking, they are afraid of making mistakes, they are afraid that other people will laugh at them, make fun of them. As a consequence, they will never make any progress, their English speaking skill will never be improved. So how to improve English speaking skills? Right now, we will give you some tips to improve English speaking skills. The first tip is broaden your vocabulary by reading more. You can read short stories for children or funny stories which are available on the internet. You can also read printed books, comic books, magazine new papers in English. The more you read, the richer vocabulary you build. The second tip is be more studious students. You should spend your spare time more widely. Instead of chatting about unnecessary things, listen to English songs, audio files, and watch cartoon or film in English without subtitles. After listening or watching, try to imitate and then record your voice in order to see how much progress you will make. And the last tip we want to bring to all of you is Try to speak English as much as possible. Don't be afraid of speaking. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. You can speak English with your teacher, your friend, during class time and during breaks at school. You can also make friends with people overseas and ask them for help. Speak English every day and one day your dream will come true. We hope that our video has provided with you a good reference source of information for you to choose the right and effective ways to improve your English communication skills. That's the end of our news. Thank you for your listening.